What's going on my dudes, One Step here, showing you today how to use Shijinko as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. First, showing you some tips and tricks on how to use him, some best strategies to keep in mind, and even some fun ways to combo. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content, and let's get into it. Shijinko is probably one of the most complicated cameos in the game, but he's also probably one of the most worth it cameos. Starting off the game, you're gonna see here, we do not have any cameo gauge. Shijinko is the only cameo you have to be in charge of. You have to actually charge him up. By pressing cameo, he'll come on screen and, and meditate and charge himself up. You have forward cameo for a punch, and after you do that punch, he'll stay on screen and meditate to fill his gauge back up. His back cameo is a kick, and same thing, he'll stay on screen. If you hold down after you forward a back cameo, he'll actually go lower on screen. And that can be good for avoiding some certain attacks. So back cameo, hold down, he'll actually go lower and meditate there instead. And that's great, because if Shijiko gets hit at all on screen, he just goes away, we can't use him for a while. So that is kind of the downside of using Shijinko. You have to charge him, and if he gets hit while charging, you're kind of out of a cameo for a little bit. Now, if you hold cameo, he'll like run on screen and go far away. So you can kind of manage where he is on screen like you don't want him in the middle of you two right you, you guys are fighting you want him kind of away from you if you're full screen like this and you call him i would step in front of him you kind of want to take the punch for chajinko because he's going to benefit you far more than you're going to benefit him so without our cameo gauge what can chajinko do besides just forward cameo and then like back cameo well after forward cameo or back cameo you can now press up cameo and he'll do an extra move if you do forward cameo up cameo he'll do a second kick that is a stagger that stagger allows you to follow up for more combos so you can do forward cameo after a string press up cameo boom free combo after that like this stagger on free combo so you can choose whether you want to stagger or press back cameo up cameo for an overhead we got kick overhead and that's great for mix too and if it hits as you see there it creates some really good space for neutral and as you see right there we do not have any cameo gauge charged up at all so shijinko by himself without stealing your opponent's moves yet offers you a stagger and an overhead that requires no charging and no cameo gauge so if you win the entire fight and you could not charge him up and you did not steal your opponent's move he's still pretty viable but if you do happen to manage it well enough and you charge him up like this he's got down forward cameo that'll take half a cameo gauge but as you saw right there it takes our opponent's moves and you you can use that in a combo as well. You can see right there, we did a forward cameo to get his punch out and then down forward cameo to do the special move that we stole. You can do down back cameo as well. And that'll use your entire cameo gauge. But as you see, it offered a pop up and we can utilize that in a combo as well. You can do that in combos or just throw it out there if you want to. Depending on who your opponent is, will dictate the moves that you steal. And depending on what moves you get, they can be projectiles like this. They can be different versions of pop-ups. You gotta test out a lot with Shijinko to really find out how to use him, what moves he steals from each character. And usually he steals two moves. You know, we got down forward cameo or down back cameo. But you might want to pause and go to your move list, go to cameo moves, and it'll tell you how many extra moves he has. As I said, down forward cameo, down back cameo. Wait, what's this? We have down back cameo, then hold up for a different move okay so down back cameo hold up oh we have a lantern oh okay so we're actually able to steal three moves from lee may some characters offer four moves and you gotta hold up or down after your down back or down forward cameo yes i know it's a lot but that's the point of shijinko he's viable by himself and then even more viable while you have stolen moves if I knew I had the lantern, that's just great for pressure. I can just get in there and they can't jump now. So can I show you every single move that Shijinko steals? Sorry, no, I don't have that kind of time. Point is, he always has down back cameo, down forward cameo for the two moves. And you want to go check and see what other moves he steals from certain characters. If you're fighting, let's say, uh, Johnny Cage a lot, go to practice mode, go to Shijinko, make your opponent Johnny Cage, go to the move list here and see what moves he steals from Johnny Cage. When you fight Johnny Cage online next, you know what moves he's stealing and how to use them against him. I'll tell you right now, the hardest thing about Shijinko that I found personally is of course learning what moves he steals from every character yes that just takes time but in the middle of a fight learning how to manage him being charged like this that that's hard I usually start a combo and as soon as I see that first hit connect I will call Shijinko that way by the time my combo is done he's usually just charged up and gone okay that hit call Shijinko continue the combo I'm done, so now Shijinko's done. Okay, we're good. You really want to avoid him getting hit. Then you're just playing with no cameo, and that's a big disadvantage in a game like this. Again, he's one of the most complex cameos, but damn, he's also one of the most fun cameos. With all that being said, my dudes, let me know down below, what are your thoughts on Shijinko as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you going to main him? I'm going to give him some more time for sure. Subscribe here for more content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.